Hey y'all, Bees Needs here. I'm gonna be doing a affordable makeup look with everything under $10. So if you wanna see how this mug got put together, keep watching the video. If you do not, watch it anyways. What else are you doing with your life? We're gonna start off with my liquid foundation. Just put a little on my hand there. And I'm actually gonna use my fingers, ignore the wasp bite that I got on the weekend. It's uh, embarrassing. There we are. So I'm actually just going to use my hands to put this in. And I'm not going to use the camera. I'm actually going to use my trusty, dusty mirror. Just a little blend that in. This one's the powdered foundation. And there you are, there you have it. A lot of people have this brand. Once, like I said, affordable, everything under 10 bucks, basically. And actually, I'm gonna be using it with, let da da, I should have had my brushes out already. My, um, I think this was gifted to me, so I'm not too sure of the brand. Still Spa Essentials. <laughs> Is that a dollar store brand? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's affordable and I've had it for a couple years and it always does the trick. So I'm going to be using that on my uh, face. A trick uh, I learned from a makeup artist is if you cut your foundation just at your jawline, it makes your face look more snatched. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that tip. I should be looking at you guys, but I'm looking at myself. How vain of me. I like to cake it on just because I like to look like I'm going to a masquerade at all points in life. So just caking that on. We're done there. Now I'm going to contour a bit. Actually, I should use my mirror. in the way I can't really see my face okay loving it okay ooh my shoulders are revealed <laughs> Okay, next thing we are going to use, da, 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 because we're going to start with, um, I'm actually going to go in the pattern that the way I put my, my actual makeup on. So the next thing I'm going to go with is uh, my eyeshadow. So now this is the one item that's going to be slightly above my affordable, but more, there's other palettes that are way more expensive than this one. But as I said, I was going to mention anything more than $10, I will let you know. So, um, it's this e.l.f. palette, which I really, really love and like. It's called Opposites Attract. Um, and it has really fun colors, really warm colors. Right now, what I want to actually use is, um, we're going to go with bold. We're going to use color bold right here. And then it's like a copper, a copper gold is what we're going to go with today. So I'm using again my, um... Icing, not too sure with brown. I'm gonna put those in the top here. How's it coming off on camera? So I'm going to use, uh, let me get comfortable first of all, I'm going to use 
uh, da, da, da. Color Smooth the palette. Smooth, it's like this, it's this dark, almost brown, right here. My lips are so dry. <laughs> I'll get to the lip part, so don't be distracted. And for the crease in between, I am going to use almost, um, it's called Darling, because you all are so darling. <laughs> okay, between there. All right. Back to the eyebrows. I'm going to use this, as I said, generic brand from the beauty supply store and I'm just gonna pencil it over just one time over the arches of my brow and I'm gonna blend it in so I use my of course this has been really come into handy with me the lash, the lash comber actually fell out, but this other end of the brush is still fantastic <laughs> to use. So I'm just gonna shape it out a bit. Yes, my eyebrows are that thick that I can brush them. Those are done. Now the next step I like to take before the magic of lashes, which changes your face so dramatically, is I'm gonna start off with my lips. Now I'm gonna use two different colors for my lips. I'm gonna put the first color on, actually sort of three processes for my lips. And this is um, still under $10, I think. It's Revlon, um, Revlon lipstick, which is in what color? Where's my color here? 720, um, ooh, fire. <laughs> I had no idea it was called fire. It's mixed with a different brand. I feel like makes the perfect color that I like to use. So that's it. I got this from the beauty supply store as well. I really love the smell of it. It's like this rose. Um, it's red. And it adds like to a butter and actually hydrates your lips a lot and smooths it out. So I'm just gonna push that in first. This is not it. I'm not done with my lips, so I'm just gonna leave it there and then finish with my. I'm um, gonna continue with my eyelashes. Let's seal that sh stuff. <laughs> seal, seal that stuff up. Do I have lipstick in my teeth? Arr. Nope. The, um, I don't know if you're familiar with this brand, but I really love. I really love all their lashes. It's really good, and I love the quality of the lash. So these are what I use, and the length is not too overbearing, but it's not too small either. And they're really good to if you t if you maintenance your lashes, you can actually have them last a couple wears, which is fun. And what I like to use is um, tweezers, lash grip adhesive. This is a really good one, and it's actually not in white. It comes in like this charcoal color, and then you just touch it in the corners a bit. Now I'm gonna go apply the other one. You can already see the difference. <laughs> This side of your face versus I look like a child on this side. <laughs> My, this was actually by Maybelline. I've used it so much you can't even see the, the logo anymore. But I believe it was from Maybelline. It's that one where it's cone. It's also found at, it's under 10. It's found at like your regular beauty supply shop. And it's like this cone shape. Like, oh my god, you remember the show, the movie, The Cone Heads? Are you that old that you remember the cone heads? Comment cone head if you recall the movie The Cone Heads. So it's getting that top part here. And now let me do the other eye. It's gonna be like this awkward position. And just a little bit of a wing. And I love to get the corners because it gives me more of a like a 
very dramatic cat eye. My eyes are really naturally that shaped. I think it's called stigmatism. <laughs> when your eyes are oval shaped, it's, I think a, a optometrist once said it's called stigmatism. Use two different um, liquid, like uh, mascaras. I use this volumizer, I think it's from CoverGirl. Gosh, the logo fell off, but once again, this is a, yeah, it's CoverGirl. You can see it very faintly. And then this one's Great Lash. I use this one for volume and use this one for like lift and to blend and for color. So you can't see my lash underneath there and a little bit at the top just to smooth it out and then I use the cover girl to finish off with my lips and that I'm gonna use this elf this is the one that's a little bit over ten dollars I think just slightly over ten but it's the liquid matted lipstick which I'm obsessed with this one this is the color tea rose i'm obsessed i love it and this is what i blend with the revlon red the Le revlon i can't recall though i think it was called fire yes with the revlon fire to make what i think is my ideal color for the look i'm going for so we're gonna use that it's so creamy but on its own it's still really amazing but together i just like the way it looks together Oop, let me cover you guys. So let's actually start at my upper lip. And my lower lip. Mm, I love it. I love the color it is here. Love it so much. Like I wish like if I could create a lipstick this is very similar to the color I would create. Let me just put some foundation around. And then back, remember that lip liner I was using for my eyes? <laughs> I'm actually going to use it for my lips this time. Swipe it off a bit. Although my lips are huge and I probably don't need to line it. But there's just something that makes it look slightly more... Ooh, I just love the way it feels and I love the way it makes my face look. I love it so much. All right. Let me comb out my hair so you can see the finished product. All right, so this is the final, final look. This is a look I wear a lot um, to work. As I said, depending where you work, if you can wear this much makeup or not. But if you guys like this video, give it a like. And I'll see you when I see you.